Hey guys, it's Tom from EverydayGamers.com. This is uh, actually my third video on the best skins ever, and I just wanted to do a final video, do a product scratch test, and do a removal just so I could show you guys a little bit of the protection that you get with this product. Now, I've never attempted this on my own. I've seen other products on the market, you know, demonstrated where they take a key and they, you know, attempt to scratch up the back with, uh, you know, one of these shields on there, and then. Uh, no damage is done, so we'll see. I mean, you know, I'm a little bit hesitant to do it, but that's okay. The the other thing I wanted to show you is that you know I, I told you guys and I explained to you a little bit how with some of these uh, shields on, you can you can have a hard time sometimes trying to actually put these in a case. Now I do have the Nareev, um case here, and it fits fine with this. And the one thing I told you about best skins ever, I don't know if they're a little bit thinner. But uh, I know that it was easier to use with some of the cases I had, some of the slider cases. Now, it fit pretty good in here. There was a little bit of tightness trying to actually fit it in all the ways, all the way. But um, anyways, it, it did actually work with that case. And there's certain cases that will we'll, we'll work with. But be aware that with um, a lot of the cases out there, that if you have a skin on your... Um, iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever it is, uh, that it may not work in conjunction with that. And for me personally, I like to have the protection of both of them. So anyways, what we'll do real quick is I'll just take this key. Uh, we'll just take a key to the back of this. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm doing it pretty, pretty hard. Not as hard as you know you might see in some of those videos, but we'll see what happens. And I don't know how good. It'll come through anyways on this camera. Um, but I'm looking here and I can see where I see where there's some scuff marks on there. Now you can't tell with my crappy camera that I have, but the, it did leave some scuff marks. Um, and you'll have to take my word for it, but I'm sure that you would obviously, you know, it'd be pretty obvious to you that it did uh, leave scuff marks with the with what I was actually doing. But now let's go ahead and remove this and I'll just um, I'll give you guys an idea. We'll see if it uh, left any any scratches on the back of the iPod Touch. Uh, now, there's nothing wrong with this skin here. I've had it on here for probably a week and a half now, and it stayed on really nice. This thing fit the iPod Touch perfectly, and actually better than the other skin product that I had tried out there, which was the uh, Zag Invisible Shield. Like I said, I actually like this a little bit better than that product uh, for two reasons. The price, uh, like I mentioned to you, is better on this. And uh, the second thing I liked about it was just kind of the way it, it, it went on. It just was a little bit of an easier application. So we're working the back off here. If you've ever removed one of these from an iPod Touch or an iPhone, I'll tell you that you, you know. I mean, I don't even have to tell you. It's really tough to get off of here. And once you remove this, the way that it stretches, you know, from you tugging on it, there's no way you're going to reapply this, um, at least not from my experience. It's just, I don't know. It takes a lot of, a lot of effort to actually pull this off. And uh, it actually stretches out the, the skin itself. So it's coming off the back here. And that's the main part that we're concerned about, just to see how things look. And from the looks of it, no scratches whatsoever. Now, I'll just clean this off a little bit, just so we can, you know, be certain about that. But, I apologize for bumping the camera there. Let's just see. And keep in mind the website, I'll obviously put it up on the screen, but it's uh, www.bestskinsever.com. And the product worked as advertised. There's not one scratch on here from the amount of force that I, you know, put applied to it with a key. And I can promise you this much, and I'm not going to demonstrate it. If I tried to use, uh, if I tried to do that without the protective screen on here, without the protective shield, it would have definitely left uh, um, some scratches. So, anyways, I wanted to show you guys that. 
just to uh, show you the amount of protection that you get just with you know this piece of plastic here. It's a really thick plastic shield. Let's see if I can show you a little bit of how you know about how durable this is. But you can see it really. I'm pressing down hard, and it hasn't gone through there yet. So let me just see if I can puncture it at all. Wow. <laughs> This stuff is uh, actually stronger than I, I realized myself. But anyways, that's it. It's best skins ever. Um, like I said, you know, you've seen the other reviews that I've done on it, and you've seen the unboxing videos um, and whatnot. It's a good product. If you haven't seen those, go back, check it out. Some of the, uh, you know, clarity of this camera doesn't really do the skin uh, justice. But as far as uh, skins are concerned, this is as good as any other product on the market. So anyways, guys, thanks for checking this out. Um, stay tuned for more videos and some more reviews. Thanks.